we present Layer Lock, a methodology for collision-free cooperative 3D printing by leveraging the principle of topological interlocking. This work is a result of a collaboration across Texas A&M University, the University of Texas at Austin, and the University of Arkansas. Multi-robot cooperative 3D printing is a growing field that has a potential to impact a wide range of domains because of the increase of possible size in 3D printing, as well as a reduction in time taken. Partitioning a part into multiple subvolumes or chunks is a common approach in cooperative 3D printing. However, a simple partitioning often results in weak interfaces between subvolumes printed by different robots. Some recent approaches have utilized sloped interfaces for better bonding between different subvolumes. While this approach retains the simplicity of robot control and communication, the interfaces between chunks are largely planar and therefore offer marginal improvement in interfacial bonding. Other approaches employ the principle of interlocking to partition the part into multiple subvolumes. However, the complexity of interfacial geometry typically either requires involved path planning algorithms or complicated communication protocols between multiple robots. In contrast to existing approaches, layer lock employs cooperation between multiple robots at every layer by leveraging a recently discovered class of topologically interlocked shapes known as Delaunay lofts. Delaunay lofts are a class of topologically interlocked shapes that are generated by stacking the layers of Voronoi partitions of a set of moving Voronoi sites based on wallpaper symmetries, which allows for non-collision without communication protocol between robots. Each layer of a Delaunay loft is a cell transit of two honeycomb, i.e. a tessellation of congruent shapes, composed of convex polygons. This allows us to allocate polygonal cells among multiple printers for collision-free parallel printing. The key advantage of this approach is that it leads to non-planar interlocking between the subvolumes printed by different robots in a collision-free manner without the need for introducing complex communication protocols. Consider a two-robot system where the two robots printing a given layer of a Delaunay loft. Note that each layer is a cell transitive two honeycomb, that is, each layer is a tessellation where all cells, polygons, are congruent to each other. In this scenario, we begin with two questions. How do we distribute cells between the robots? Ideally, we want equal distribution of robot labor at every layer. This minimizes the printing time. And in what sequence do we order cells to be printed to ensure that they are collision-free without the need for complex communication protocols? In order to distribute cells between the two robots, we label each cell at a given layer based on the robot closest to it. This can be achieved through a simple distance computation between cell centers and robot positions. Notice that this distance-based labeling always results in contiguous partitions assigned to each robot. In other words, we can define a continuous path that splits the layer into two regions. We call this the interfacing path, which is simply a sequence of edges which are shared by cells with different labels. The cells that contain the vertices and edges of the interfacing path are the interfacing cells. All other cells are the non-interfacing cells. Notice that the interfacing cells define the region where collision can occur. Therefore, collision can be avoided between the robots as long as both robots are not printing the interfacing cells simultaneously. Once each cell is labeled, our algorithm computes the sequence of cells for each robot based on a moving fronts strategy. This strategy makes use of the natural ordering induced by the sequence of vertices and edges on the interfacing path. Simply put, vertex edge sequence on a given path is the same as the sequence of cells containing those vertices and edges. We start by printing the interfacing cells for each robot independently. First, robot one prints along the interfacing path, then robot two prints along the interfacing path. Once this is done, the robots can work collaboratively to print the non-interfacing cells using a moving front strategy to order cell printing. This moving front strategy continues until all cells are printed. While we have shown this process with a regular tiling, this algorithm is also applicable to any arbitrary tiling. To evaluate the layer lock algorithm, we conducted numerical and physical experiments with a variety of Delaunay lofts. The first is hex quad hex, meaning that the top, middle, and bottom layers are hexagonal, quadrilateral, and hexagonal. Next, we used a pent quad pent. In the original Delaunay lofts, all transitions were straight lines. We considered two new types of Delaunay lofts, which are helix-defined transitions. Finally, we used a helix curve with different parameters. We simulated the time that each test case would take to print based on the orientation of the part with respect to the printers. 
rotating the assembly changes the cell distribution between robots, which impacts printing time. Hex quad hex and pent quad pent do not vary much in time to print. On the other hand, the lofts based on helical control curves exhibited a clear cyclical relationship between the angle and printing time. We also studied the effect of cell resolution on printing time. In most cases, there is a steady increase in time to print with only helix 2 time decreasing after a few cells are added because of a more optimal cell distribution. We printed the four different structures using two AMBOT robots. As seen in the video, the number of cells per robot was equally divided at every single layer. This meant that it was the most optimal orientation for printing. However, for the helix structures, some angles of rotation led to a very unequal distribution of work, as seen here. This meant that at this angle of rotation, the printing time was much higher than at other angles. In most of the cases, we only printed a few outside contours of each tile to save on time and material. To test the strength of the printed parts, we hung a 35 pound weight from hex quad hex, pent quad pent, and helix 2. In this way, the weight was pulling the two halves printed by robot 1 and robot 2 apart. This was a preliminary test, and many more tests could be run on the strength of these parts, but we show here that our methodology results in good adhesion. In principle, the layer lock algorithm is generalizable to any type of cell pattern, as well as any number of robots. However, such extensions require additional research in terms of robot synchronization, dynamic communications between robots, and geometric steps to account for disconnected regions and holes within a given layer geometry. Please see our paper for more details. Thanks for watching.